Hi students, today you are taking your heat transfer summative. Please write your first name and your last name. And what hour do you have science? Okay, all right, the first part. You have one, two, three pictures. You are going to look at the pictures and write either conduction, conduction, or convection or radiation in the boxes here. So let's look at this picture, okay? This is warm air and it's going all around, okay? It's heating all around the object, okay? Is that conduction, convection, or radiation? Write it in the box here. All right, next. Here we have some pancakes and they're cooking on the pan. So the pancakes are touching the pan. Is that conduction, convection, or radiation? Write it in the box. All right, students, now we have a fire. This is a fire. And there's a hand that's getting warm from the fire, okay? Is that conduction, convection, or radiation? Write it in the box. All right, students, next. The butter is melting on the bread and it is called conduction. Why is this conduction? The butter is on the bread. The bread is hot, okay? So let's look at this one. Blank from the hot bread goes to the butter. Is it air from the hot bread? Heat? from the bread or light? Write it here. Okay, then why does it go to the hot bread? What does the bread do with the butter? Okay, the butter is what on the bread? Write your answer here. All right, students, next. Is it a conductor or an insulator? Circle the best answer. First, we have a cookie sheet. It is for cookies and it is made of metal. Is that an insulator or a conductor? Next, we have a curling iron. It is made out of metal. Is it an insulator or a conductor? Next, we have a styrofoam cup where we put in hot cocoa and hot chocolate and hot coffee. Is that an insulator or a conductor? Then we have a jacket, a winter jacket. Is that an insulator or a conductor? Okay, students. Next, we are going to be talking about convection. You're going to draw a line from the steps to the description to make pasta, okay? So we have spaghetti in a pot of boiling water. Okay, so we need to find out what is step number one, what is step number two, <clears throat> and what is step number three. Let's look at this one. The hot water cooks the pasta. Is that step number one, step number two, or step number three? The stove is turned on. Step number one. Step number two, 
or step number three. The stove heats the water. Step number one, step number two, or step number three. All right, students, explain how a heater, here's a heater, heats a person. Use what you know about convection. The person is not touching the heater. So you have person, air, and heater. Number one, the blank is on. Is it the person, the air, or the heater is on? Write your answer here. Step two, the heater heats the blank. Does the heater heat the person, the air, or the heater? Write your answer here. Step three, the blank heats the blank. So now you need to tell us what is heating the what, okay? Write your answers here. All right, students. Last, we are going to talk about radiation. This picture shows radiation. Here we have the sun. We have some electromagnetic waves. And we have the earth. Okay? You need to tell us what is step number one, what is step number two, and what is step number three? Okay? Step number one, what is happening? Your choices are shining, earth, electromagnetic waves, sun, and the side facing. So try your best to write step number one, step number two, step number three. If you need help, ask your science teacher. Good luck, students.